It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Giants and the 49ers, and it's coming up next. It is a pretty hot late summer afternoon here in the South Bay as EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the San Francisco 49ers. With Charles Davis to my left, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, it's a good time to be a 49er fan. The roster is loaded. You got stars on both sides of the ball. The time seems like it's now. Aside from health, what needs to happen for the Niners to make a Super Bowl run? Well, if you're a team trying to play them, you're always trying to figure out how do I slow down an offense that seems to morph and change from week to week and attack defense's weaknesses. And then on the other side, how are you going to block those pass rushers? How are you going to block those guys who get after the quarterback on every snap? Good luck. This is a loaded 49ers team. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure of Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. From the 24 now, here's the second and eight. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breda. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Now Jones. He'll dump this down to Matt Breida. And I don't think he got there. No. Gee, short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Ray Ray McLeod deep here for the Niners. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. The Niners offense set to go to work, and it's last year's revelation, Brock Purdy, who leads them out in season number two from Iowa State. There weren't many bigger stories last season than Purdy, who's officially the most famous Mr. Irrelevant of all time won each of his first five starts and almost guided his team to a Super Bowl. He's really forced the team to reevaluate its plans at quarterback because he looks like the real deal. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 24. 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. If anyone ever has any doubt that tight ends are primary targets nowadays, just watch this play. He's back in the pocket, finds his guy, and they get a nice gain out of it. Yeah, simple little completion out into the flat. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Throwing Jones. Short throw, going to be caught by Waller. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's a handoff left side to Burrito. Yeah, will get it across the 35. It'll be second down. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Looking to throw. Jones. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. So the completion good for just three. And they're going to face a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll come up now third and three. Operating from the gun, Jones. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. McLeod to return it. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> and he'll work this one up to about the 38. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. Oh, 
Second and five. A throwing here, Purdy. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. between the tackles with Breda. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That good for 19 at a first down. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Still first down. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. They run again with Breda. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Over the middle complete. That's Campbell. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Here's Jones off the bootleg. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the Giants are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. First and goal from the six. Back to throw. Jones toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Forced out to his left. Take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Giants take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. A drive that time of six plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49ers settling in for their next drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. The throw out wide gonna be incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. McCaffrey on the counter. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Here is third and five. Purdy from the gun. To the sideline and incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Taken in at the 22. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And they will take over first and 10. And New York set to take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. start by running the option to the right and he's taken down right at the 45 yard line a big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him first down first play of the drive a first down run well, that sets you up for whichever way you want to go do you come right back and run the football again because you've got them on their heels or do you play chess match with them break tendency and go play action and go for the big shot so from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Steps away to his left, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. On second down, a run with Breida. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners 36. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now, Lumen. Off the play fake, Jones. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So it was fourth and one. They wind up taking the three. But I'm not sure that that offensive unit, judging by the sideline, <laughs> Charles was in 100% agreement with the decision. No, not at all. But the head coach has final call on this. We know that. But let's face it. Offenses want to feel like, hey, you believe in us? Let us go for it? We'll see if that is a problem for them moving forward in this game. Let's go. Let's go. 
So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. 3-4 defense and that O-line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and you're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync five yards now it's third and five well they're unable to convert that into much but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause birdie will set up to throw it here able to find the open man that's complete and he is going to have a niners first down they needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now is second and 10. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And he's gonna be stopped up at about the 47 yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Out of the gun, Purdy. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Credit that to the former Georgia Bulldog, Aziz Ojolari, getting in there to bring him down. I know nowadays they give a lot of guys different things when they get to the sidelines after creating a big play, but just throw a cape on this guy because he single-handedly ended multiple drives. Interception earlier, sack on third down. Really should have a better game plan and stall for how to contain him because he's affecting this game in so many ways. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And this will be taken at the 13. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. From the 20, here's second down and eight. As they've got it as we resume action. 
Breida. They'll go up the middle. And it's a room to maneuver. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Oh, well, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Second and 10. Throwing again, Jones. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 41 yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back and you end up getting the first down. Jones now on first and 10. Completes this again to Shepard. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Now a give to Breda. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. On the handoff, this is Breda. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Jones hit, and the ball's out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their own 37. Following the fumble recovery, Purdy. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it, and it'll be second down. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long next series before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Purdy bootlegging it. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. That's a game of three. It's third and seven. The Niners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. Now Purdy. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Well, remember, he had the interception earlier. Now he adds the sack. He's really making his presence felt out there. 
Oh, he is putting together a heck of a game. In fact, he's going to bump these plays to his highlight reel. Okay, so when he wants to show it off later on, look what I did out there, guys. And this offense, they've got to start paying him a little special attention. He's like a good basketball player, putting stats in every column. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Out of the shotgun, Brita. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Looking to throw. Jones. They'll set up a screen for Brita. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. And this will be caught, it's Isaiah Hodgins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now, we all know that an offensive coordinator and a quarterback, they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. And this will be incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Back to throw, Jones. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Nick Bosa, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's McLeod on the return. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And San Francisco gets set to go here. 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scald out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together. And this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Purdy looking to throw. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. And now out come the Giants. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Now Jones throwing to start the drive. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Nick Bosa able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility, the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. Third and 20. Looking to throw. Jones. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Cleland Farrell in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. On to punt, Jamie Gillen. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. So trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Purdy off the play fake. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Locked in completions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now yet another incomplete. 
completion here as they fail to connect on third. That drive, pretty simple to sum up. Three passes, three incompletions. And there has to be some grumbling on the bench from the defensive guys who are hoping for a little bit more of a break. And you know the alpha on that side? Got a few choice words for the offensive side of the ball since they have to go right back out on the field. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be giant football first and 10. And New York set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll start out here with the option left. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Jones off the play fake. Pass to Bellinger on the crossing route. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Here's Jones on first down. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big-time arm strength. Very nice route. Gets this to Campbell out on the right side. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Second down and eight. Now Jones. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Back to throw. Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be.
After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They could really use some momentum before they head into halftime. On first down, Purdy. That's Samuel caught left side. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Second down and a yard. Purdy now to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. On third down, it's Purdy. And he is caught. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Purdy will look to throw again here. That's caught out right by Jennings. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Here's Purdy. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. These guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth barring a conversion here on third down. Shotgun now with Purdy. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Jennings. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from quarterback Daniel Jones. He was able to take it in himself for the game's only touchdown. And you wonder if this coaching staff will ask him to do a bit more the rest of the way. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. 
The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. Shifts by him, and he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 31 yards there on the first down. At halftime, you have to feel like the defense had to be in a good position. They had to feel good about themselves. They had this guy boxed in all game long, but after that run, that might be the breakthrough that he's looking for. Now they may have some difficulty dealing with him the rest of today. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything. Change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And that flag accepted. Still second down. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Purdy from the gun. And he's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 25-yard line. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that they're very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Purdy. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jennings. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. And they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. Purdy with it on third and long. A throw right side here going to be incomplete. A credit the Giants defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And his kick here is good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13 to 3. 
So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll begin the drive with Breda, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time, every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. Second and six, just inside the 30. Throwing Jones. And that one complete to Hodgins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Brita, he'll try the right side. Oh, able to avoid him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one, 28 yards on the ground. There was a great article in the paper yesterday about how he likes to run angry. <laughs> Plays like that, you can feel it, can't you? As long as he doesn't drive angry, we're okay. <laughs> because when he's on the field, that anger works for him. It fuels him, it powers him, and the end result runs like that. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Looking to throw, Jones. He'll find Hodgins there complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Nick Bosa using that speed to get in there and break that play up. This is why I've never been a big fan of trying to get too cute down here by the goal line. For every one time something like this works, it seems like it blows up about 10 times. And sure enough, They'll wind up losing yards here. Second down and goal. Jones and Waller taking it in over the middle. Able to get nine out of that pitch and catch, but now third and goal. And that's why defensive coaches preach swarming to the football. It's usually going to take more than one guy to get that big man down. Man, it did right there. Multiple broken tackles, but they eventually get him down. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. will take it in for the Giants' touchdown. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Gano now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was Matt Breida who had the touchdown run to put an end to it.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. McLeod now on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10, right at the 30. This is Samuel. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 38 now, here's second and two. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Room here to run. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibility. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A throwing here, Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 15-yard line. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. After another impressive run, the question has to be asked, how do you slow these guys down running the football? I think they're going to try and get more people to the point of attack, try and get more people to the line of scrimmage, almost use a variety of run blitzes in order to try and get it done. Now Purdy. And he'll just get rid of it. What a job by this defense all game long. They've come together and really said, no one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Purdy looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. McCaffrey is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. 
They'll try and power it in with Juszczyk. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. And that was a good collision right there. And I know this as a former defender. If you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play on who you think's going to get the ball and where you think the ball's going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback position to get it. And on that play... And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from a yard out. And the 49ers are able to cut into that deficit. And that's a step in the right direction. This had the feeling of one of those turning point kind of drives. If you come up empty there, it could be a long road back. But they persevered and hung around, and they closed the gap here in the third quarter with their first touchdown of the game. Moody good with the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Here's Brightwell to return it. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Campbell, and he'll be out right at the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Final minute now of the third quarter. Jones now throwing on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. A run between the tackles with Breda. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he makes it all the way down to the 19. It's a big-time play there for the G-Men. 47 yards. So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like them. And how about the confidence that's being exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fella to carry the football and carry it often. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. The slot man in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Now Jones looking to throw on second down. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. The Giants on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third down and 12. Now a give running left is Breda. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. 
Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business in the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. A run there on first down going nowhere as he stopped right at the 25. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Back to throw, Purdy. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. The former first rounder put it all together in 2022 with career highs across the board and cemented himself as one of the faces of the Giants defense after an all-pro season. And the Giants will go with six defensive backs here on third. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. So seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Trucks over him. And here a juke. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. New York's offense back out there and set to go. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Trey Greenlaw in there on the tackle. Here's a second and five. Operating from the gun, Jones. In trouble, and he's taken down. Cleland Farrell picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. 
Jones throwing on third and long. A short one here secured by the tight end Waller. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. 118 yards on the ground for him so far. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? I, mean, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Ashawn Robinson there on the stop. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. He's got this complete to Ayuk on the out route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Purdy looking to throw on first down here to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an intercept. Brian Dable reaching for that challenge flag, and he's going to have the officials review this call. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stays. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Purdy to throw it on first down. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that's going to bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. But that window closed quickly. 
Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with a run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Third down. Here's McCaffrey. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Purdy, big fourth down play. This ball is caught. He's got Debo. And he is going to have a 49ers first down. The defense a little lax there. They give up nine on fourth and four. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly Touchdown, 49ers! <laughs> score game again here in the fourth well executed there offensively defense looked a little confused but he found his receiver and that one good for six points and the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Boy, 184 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he continues to put a hurt on this defense. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Meanwhile, Jones' throw brought in by Bellinger. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Now second and five. Now Jones. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So pass interference, the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. 
or on their sideline because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Matt Breida with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. the touchdown here to kick it away and this taken in at the goal line and he brings this out past the 20 to the 24 so Purdy and the Niners down by two touchdowns a little under a minute 50 remaining how will this thing pan out we'll watch as they come up on first down Let's go now, let's go. Let's run. Here's Purdy. And his throw is incomplete. Well, it's pretty difficult to sum it up offense in a two-minute drill. When your guys have struggled to put points on the board all afternoon, there's an incompletion right there. They'll try again here, second and 10. Here's Purdy to throw. And hit behind the line, he lost the football, it's loose. And the Giants have it, it's picked up. And that might just cement it. A return for a late touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. Gano for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Here's McLeod from his end zone. 
And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Niners set to take over on offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Looks like they're gonna keep throwing till the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're gonna go down fighting. That one, incomplete. Here's second and 10. Here's Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 18 yards, first down Niners. Well, he's had the interception woes in this one, Charles. And that time, a little bold to throw it into double coverage, but he beat the double coverage. Yeah, but I admire that he still will challenge defenders downfield, even though the ball's been in jeopardy a few times in this game. A nice ball there against multiple defenders, and they advance it downfield. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Purdy will look to throw again here. That's Samuel caught left side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first down, Purdy. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Shotgun now with Purdy. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now second and three. Purdy sets up to throw again. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Purdy now to throw. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Purdy with one final shot here. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw 
that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got 